It's an interactive situation where the audience and the members of the audience and the participants are actively involved in a kind of a fun inter interaction and mind game with me. And uh, I'm only as good as the audience is, really. I've worked for groups as small as eight and for as large as several thousand. I recently had a program in Hawaii with the 3,000 executives. We're going to put their minds to work. Uh, Another program, eight people from one corporation, and uh, they each present their own challenge. I make it very clear that there's no supernatural uh, involvement in this. Uh, I'm not the seventh son of the seventh son, and I wasn't born with a, a call over my eyes, and uh, I have not been the recipient of repeated hard blows to the head, as many psychics claim. And, uh, I make that very, very clear. When someone steps up on stage with me, I want them to know right from the beginning that they're safe, that they're not going to be embarrassed, that they're going to have a good time, and when they step down, they will be the star. There's several chilling moments in the presentation, and sometimes it has to do with kind of just a stunned silence. I'm not looking for applause. I'm looking for that What's going on here? This is a journey. This is a journey. I am Ross Johnson, and uh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> with your help, with your cooperation, and, and if all of you simply keep open minds, the next few things that we attempt will be the closest thing to actual mind reading that you have ever experienced. How about your birth? In fact, just think of the month in which you were born. Month, month alone. Simple fact about yourself. Are you thinking of it now? Have it on your mind right now. Were you born in the month of January? No. Okay, perhaps a bit louder with the next one, but continue to answer only with no. Were you born in February? No. March? No. April? No. May? No. June? No. July? No. August? No. September? No. October? No. November? No. Were you born in the month of December? No. Were you born in May? No. Were you born in May? No. Were you born in May? No. Continue answering only with no if you would. Were you born in the month of May? No. Were you born in May? No. Were you born in May? No. Were you born in May? No. We're, we're tired of your lies. <laughs> I believe you were born in May. And what, what month were you born? May. I thought as much. Thank you very much. Give him a hand. Thank you, sir. I'm going to make this easier for myself. Uh, if you would remove the single heart card that is in the hand, there was only one. Is that true, sir? And show everyone the ace of hearts. Hold it up high so that everyone may see it. Put it in your pocket. Three, three cards remain, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Don't look so surprised, sir. Four minus one. Three. <laughs> Some people are much too easily impressed, you know. Uh, you're holding the jack and the king of diamonds. Show everyone the jack. Good and high. Let everyone see it. And then go to the king. Show everyone the king. Put both of those cards in your pocket. One card remains. True? And what I need you to do now is really quite simple, sir. I want you to walk back to your seat. But as you're walking back to your seat with that card concealed between your hands, I just want you to say the name of that card over and over again, silently to yourself, in your mind. Please say the name of that card. Say Ten of Diamonds, Ten of Diamonds, Ten of Diamonds, Ten of Diamonds. If you would, show everyone the Ten of Diamonds. I thank you very, very much. Give him a hand. The cards are yours, sir. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Open the book and, and, and choose a word. Have you chosen a word? Yes. You have one? Would you like to change your mind to a different word? Okay, close the book. We no longer need the book. We do need your minds. You didn't know you were going to come in here and do this tonight, and you didn't know you were going to engage in this rather silly spelling exercise, and you could have changed your mind to another word, but you determined that you wouldn't, and you'd spelled P... Well, oh, that's you. It's P-H. Is that correct? Yeah. It's getting creepy, isn't it? <laughs> F-U-R... Is that correct, sir? P-H-O-T-O-F-U-R-N-I-T... The word is furniture. Thank you very much. You may be seated, sir. Thank you.
And you could have changed your mind to, to another word, but you stuck with your first choice, photographer, is that correct? Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Did you change your mind? Yes, I did. You changed your mind. You initially had another item in mind and then changed it to this one. Uh -huh. with the express intention of kind of screwing this up. You got it. Yeah. So you come up here with a bit of an attitude. Yes, I did. Yeah, I know. You're not one to normally believe in this sort of thing. Yes, I do. You do you? Because I handle myself. Good. Well, then, is the item beneath my hand? Yes. Okay, let's, let's I just get this change of mind. The, the, this, this, item, this item is yours, though. Is it, is it right beneath my hand now? Yes. I'm getting some letters, is that true? Some what? Letters. Yes. There are letters there? There's some letters. You didn't even, weren't aware of them, really. Is, isn't that right? You were not aware of the letters that are there. No, L I G yep. H. Yeah, you could say. Yeah, that's what I did say. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and dark in color. The, the, the whole, there's more than one material here. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know. Only one item, but more than one material. There's synthetic and, and, and organic and, and uh, well, put your shoe back on. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you very much. At this moment, I'm going to attempt to get a feeling about some of you based on one of two things. Either what you did jot down and seal into one of these envelopes, or simply what you've been running through your mind lately. Did, did you have some kind of a question in mind? Yeah. Just think about it. And the, wait, I was getting a number, and like I said the number eight. Does the number eight, uh, perhaps you didn't jot it down, I don't know, but the number eight figures strongly in this question. It yeah, I did. Well, you, because you've been doing something for eight years. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. You've been involved in something for eight years. Yeah. You're an educator, a teacher, is that true? Yeah. yeah, you'll get your 35 years in, don't worry. That big, that big pension that... Are you a Cub fan? That's what this is about. Would you stand? You, 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 you don't have to be psychic to know the Cubs are not going anywhere in your lifetime. <laughs> this guy plays with toys, radio control planes and things like that. So, we have a color, we have a number, we have a little drawing or a sketch. It's my challenge to find which envelope contains which bit of information, okay? I, I'm going to ask you, sir, when I snap my fingers, good and loud, just shout out the name of the first color that comes into your head. If you're thinking about your color, now do it now, sir. Purple. What's the color you were thinking of? Purple, okay? Open that envelope if you would, sir. It's going to get worse, me. <laughs> We're just starting. <laughs> there should be one card on the inside. Good and loud, what does it say, sir? Purple. Purple, if you'd hand that stuff to me. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Let's go for the number, okay? Let's, let's go for the number. Uh, think about the number. Are, 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 you, are you a little superstitious? A lot superstitious. You are? You're thinking about the number now? Could be any number, is that correct? Well, your lucky number is 43, which is not the number that you jotted down, is it? Which is perhaps why you haven't had a lot of luck lately. Uh, <laughs> the next time it comes up, go with 43 instead of 7, which we have over here. What was the number? Seven. Thank you very much. Let's see if it's right. Open that up. I mean, there's a card on the inside. If you'd remove it, please. Hope I've got it. There should be a number written on that card if we're right. What does it say? 7. seven. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Obviously, we have the drawing here. If you hand it to me. Do you remember what you drew pretty much exactly? Excellent. When I tell you to make the drawing again, a bit larger so that everyone can see it, but not yet. Not yet. Step right up to the edge of the stage. Because there is a specific and very important mindset that I want you to take, you must do this. It's to be as if you're talking to someone on the phone. Get the person in mind, not someone here. You have the person in mind? Is that person here? No. no. Okay. You're talking to them on the phone, you're doodling while on the phone. 
Make the drawing now. You could have drawn anything, is that right? Anything at all. This, this is what she chose to draw, okay? Well, you were drawing this, I was drawing this, you see. Uh, now, you do that well. And I want you to imagine, if you would, that you're in the place that you would most likely be if you were actually going to call this person. Face the audience, if you would. Where would you be? It could be in your home, it might be in your office, it might be a mobile phone, a public phone. Where are you, in your mind? At work. At work. And would this be a personal call? Yes. Huh. <laughs> the work ethic of you young ones, I don't know. Go right to the first three digits. See your finger as it touches simply the first three digits of the telephone number. Six, five, four. Is that true? Okay. Touch the next, no, you'll only touch. Are, are they both the same? They're both three then, is that right? Okay. T touch. Were you born on a Thursday? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'm not sure. But you were there. I don't know when I was born either, and I'm a Libra. What are you? Uh, yeah. You're a Libra, okay. Touch the last two numbers. Okay. Six, nine. Okay. Now, imagine, imagine if you would that the telephone is ringing. And it rings once, it, well, it's the 21st. Yeah, October 21st. 1976. That was a Thursday. Um, uh, really, imagine that the phone is ringing, would you? Just, you hear it once, and you hear it ring twice, and, and on the third ring, on the third ring, the person that you're calling actually answers the telephone, okay? Do you say, hello, Heather? Hello, Heather. Is, is that right? Thank, thank, thank you very much. You, you can be seated. Would, would, would you do one favor for me? Would you, it's, it's Heidi, isn't it? Would you do one favor for me, Heidi? The, the next time that you actually speak with Heather Lenny, would you, would you tell her that, that Ross Johnson read your mind this evening? I thank you. I thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're delightful. Thank you very, very much. I really feel a sense of joy at, at the end of a, of a program, especially if you've, you've really made that connect. And I try to make the connect with everyone, a single thread going between my mind and theirs. So I really know what they're thinking. The timing, his sense of humor. And I still don't know how he does what he does. Unbelievable. I mean, how does anybody go through books and find words and you know, get numbers out of cards. Well, he always takes it a step farther than I can explain. The things that he does are just absolutely marvelous. I don't know, it's weird. No way he could have known. Amazing. One fellow behind us was like, oh my gosh, he knew that when the envelopes came up. He was going through these envelopes and he threw mine to the side. He said, this guy plays with toy airplanes. This guy plays with toys, radio controlled planes and things like that. That was me. And it, and it says, I, I like to fly RC airplanes. And I, I went and recovered it. I can't figure how he did that. It was really incredible. Something's going on here that uh, these people haven't experienced before.